bury my body and don't build any monument. Keep my hands out so the people know. The one who won the world had nothing in hand when he died. How great are the dangers I face to win a good name in Athens. I do not pilfer victory. When we give someone our time, we actually give a portion of our life that we will never take back. My treasure lies in my friends. Whatever possession we gain by our sword cannot be sure or lasting. But the love gained by kindness and moderation is certain and durable. Sex and sleep alone make me conscious that I am mortal. There are no more worlds to conquer. I am dying with the help of too many physicians. True love never has a happy ending, because there is no ending to true love. I foresee a great funeral contest over me. Upon the conduct of each depends the fate of all. May God keep you away from the venom of the cobra, the teeth of the tiger, and the revenge of the Afghans. I would rather live a short life of glory than a long one of obscurity. I send you a kafis of mustard seed that you may taste and acknowledge the bitterness of my victory. We of Maston for generations past have been trained in the hard school of danger and war. My logisticians are a humorless lot. They know if my campaign fails. They are the first ones I will stay. Every light is not the sun. There are so many worlds, and I have not yet conquered even one. I foresee a great funeral contest over me. My father will anticipate everything. He will leave you and me no chance to do a great and brilliant deed. With the right attitude, self-imposed limitations vanish. Let us conduct ourselves, so that all men wish to be our friends, and all fear to be our enemies. It is a lovely thing to live with courage, and die leaving an everlasting fame. The end and object of conquest is to avoid doing the same thing as the conquered. There is nothing impossible to him who will try. God must have loved Afghans because he made them so beautiful. <laughs>